250 subscribers in under four weeks. Guys, I can't believe we did it. I cannot explain to you how grateful I am for this. This is not meant to be some cheesy, sappy, you know, oh, we made it, I have 250 subscribers. That's not the point of this video at all. The reason I'm making this is because I'm just the guy on YouTube standing in front of a whiteboard and you're sitting there trusting me. I want to build credibility with my audience. I'm starting to see that there's a lot of traction on YouTube and there's a lot of demand and a lot of appetite for financial information, uh, whether it's personal finance, stock market investing, real estate investing, or entrepreneurship. And I want to be able to provide that to you. I'm not asking for anything in return, but it just it makes me really happy that people are subscribing and they actually listen to me, which I never thought would be imaginable. I'm just one guy and I just started this YouTube channel randomly. Um, so what I'm trying to get at, guys, is I want to build a personal connection with you. I saw how fast this channel is growing and I want to be able to share as much financial knowledge as possible. Um, I'm going to give you kind of my personal and professional resume, uh, again, just because I want to build credibility with you. This is not meant to brag or say, hey, look at all the stuff that I did, look at me. That's not the point of this video whatsoever. Um, I'm th I just turned 30 years old. I said I was 29 in one of my previous videos. Well, I tried to stay as young as possible for as long as possible. I uh, just turned 30. I graduated in December of 2010 with a finance degree, and that was actually in one of the worst depressions in world history. Uh, the American economy sucked, no one was hiring, so I actually sold cars. I sold cars at one of the biggest Chevy dealerships in Ohio. Um, I'm actually from Northeast Ohio. And that was an eye-opening experience. That's what taught me about negotiation, about salesmanship, about customer service, um, about listening to what people are really telling you and asking you. I've had a lot of people lie straight to my face and it's helped me build a good judge of character and also helped me build my character as well. Uh, after the sales job at uh, one of the Chevrolet dealerships, I worked for a startup company that was in the death care space. So we were an online startup uh, funded with $1.1 million, started by two really good guys here in Northeast Ohio. And ultimately, we were there for about a year and a half to two years, uh, and we ultimately got aqua fired. <laughs> so the company got bought and we all got laid off. But when I worked there, I was the business development manager uh, for all of our sales initiatives. Learned a ton there, learned about what VC money is, venture capital money. Uh, learned about mergers and acquisitions. I, mer I learned a lot about a lot of different things that I would have never learned at a big corporate job where they're having you do, um, you know, just a lot of minor stuff, a lot of, you know, data entry and things like that, at least at that point in my career. So ultimately after that, I ended up working in commercial real estate for three years. I worked for a, uh, a small developer in size, but a big developer in name, and they're doing you know, big projects. I worked on multiple you know, 12 plus million dollar senior living facilities. I worked on $26 million apartment complexes from start to finish. Uh, did the pro forma work, did the financial analysis. Uh, I did most of the leasing and the salesmanship. Um, but I also did a little bit on the finance end as well, and that taught me a ton. It taught me that real estate is a relationship business, and it's all about who you know in that business. Um, the people that I worked for, they have hearts of gold. I couldn't have been luckier to work with them, uh, but ultimately uh, we parted ways uh, last year, and I'm now working in tech as a client account manager. So I've run the whole gamut. Uh, I also own three rental properties. I am a landlord. Uh, I started my own FBA business. So I know a little bit about entrepreneurship um, and I'm also starting this YouTube channel. So again, all those things are not meant to brag or to you know, say, hey, look at everything I've done. It's just to establish some credibility. So when I do make these videos, you guys really do know where I'm coming from. Uh, I want the best for you guys. You're my audience and I really respect that. Again, the amount of subscribers I've got over the last three, four weeks of just doing this, you know, in my uh, living room, I mean, it's, it's been insane. So I hope to grow with you. I hope you grow with me. Um, you're going to learn a lot about stock market investing, entrepreneurship, personal finance, and real estate if you follow this channel. Uh, if you get any value out of these videos, you know, I really appreciate you sharing them, liking them, subscribing. 
you know, I want to build a personal connection with you. I know sometimes I can be a little bit, you know, over the top in those videos. But again, I'm just coming from a good place and I believe in transparency. So thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. <laughs>